Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. I had to get me a drink real quick. So today we're going to be talking about the Continental. And I am a really big fan of this archetype. I've been using it for a long time. Uh, just in comparison real quick to, uh, I have an AR-41. And this one's really good. It, it came from a package uh, on a weird reset because of Hammer Forge and Rifled and Counterbound. So we keep the stability that we have and we add on pretty much the most range that we could get with Counter. It's really good. So the AR-41, Righteous 7, another AR-41 with Counter, and then the old Hakon's Hatchet. They're really good, but what I like about the Continental, I like the sight, first of all, the ORA and auto rifle, because it's kind of like the OES. It's got a weird um, reticle on it. So but we have the ORA quick draw and rifle scope, and these things shoot like a dream with counterbalance, man. They're so true. You know what you get. And remember with auto rifles, they're not supposed to be like the best weapons in the game. They're an ease to use weapon, and they can be effective. And when you look at kill times for these things, it's like, oh, you know, it's got a .9 kill time. Hold up. Nobody is hitting you know, 10 whatever straight headshots with these things. Maybe you've done it once or twice in your Destiny career with somebody not moving. It's very difficult to. So you're going to try to land just, uh, the whole concept and goal is to land as many good shots as you can with these things, and they're fun. So this one's Rodeo or hip fire, perfect balance and appended, and you're going to be okay. I just want the little extra added stability. Uh, 37 is going to be enough to, to, to get through a kill and possibly another. Uh, and then counterbalance, and remember counterbalance eliminates that left to right recoil, and we have good stability on this bad boy. We have a Havoc Pigeon and that I got from a Blue Ingram that's Outlaw Reactive Reload, and it earned itself the 400 Club. Uh, the Deluge, this thing's so nasty. I mean, I'll, I'll put a clip of it real quick. Double kill. Triple down. Secure. Ugh, it's so good. Take a knee, hand late stock, persistence. At, at this point with these two, it, they all kind of start negating each other because it shoots so straight. Um, oh, we're on the ram lock with a tier 12, 4-4, four, four, uh, or 5-5-2, five, five, I apologize. So we're just going to wait for this game to start, and then we'll be right on back. All right, so we're back, and I kid you not, it took like two minutes to find a game, to find three people. And uh, real quick, and I went over it in uh, the second episode of Crucible Tips, um, I play on Puppeteer, so, and especially with auto rifles, that's when auto rifles were big, you're able to crouch strafe, and uh, you can't do it too, too fast, uh, essentially, you know, you're crouching as you're shooting, and with the player model and the frame rate, it just, it's it's hard to, let, you know, land shots on people that are doing that, um, especially hand cannon users, to be in the gunfight, you gotta make a miss, um, and, you know, auto rifles are really good at that short to mid range now, especially with their nerf and the auto rifles buff. Uh, we're on four, but the, the deal with Puppeteer, I highly recommend that you guys that play on default to maybe just switch to it because it doesn't mess anything up. The only thing that it switches is B and right thumbstick click in. So instead of that being player highlight, because we player highlight people all the time, it's more useful. And I feel that Puppeteer should have been the default layout for the game in, in the beginning. So basically B will now highlight people so you don't have to move your thumb and you can knee slide a little bit easier. All right, so we're on. All right, Thorn. I have no. I think that's no time to explain. Oh, he's or Zalo. So we have we have we have some AR battles. It's gonna be a guy out to my right. All right, I'm waiting for you to move, bud. <laughs> Caught him off guard. We're just gonna come all the way up in this rotation because there's this is this is the hot spot for Rumble. You're falling behind. He ended up getting him. There's going to be a guy directly on the other side now. We're going to knee slide around. There he is. I should have crouched a little bit more. I stayed crouched. Uh, but we got a, a decent lead. I'm not sure if we got the first blood points. He's using no time to explain, man. Oh. Guy dropped down. There's another guy at the end of this hallway. He had, a, he had a nice little turn on me. I mean, he hit me with a flux grenade that uh, just ate my shield up. It's a good play. It just sometimes that's how it goes. All right. Stuff is happening. See, we crouched on him and made him miss. Missed a couple shots. Kept me in the gunfight and won me the gunfight. So we just need to remember to do that every single engagement that we get into. 
That's, that's cute. You've got your little kitty stuff on. Made him miss. There's gonna be somebody straight ahead. So I'm gonna throw the grape. There he is. It's Havoc Pigeon time. Uh, another thing about this, it has a really strong equip speed. Get our lifesteal health back. Oh, it's Randall the Vandal, no wonder. No wonder. Hello, Randall. <laughs> I was hoping lifesteal would help me out, or that would help me out a little bit more. Oh, good shots. Good shots. He had, he, had, uh, he had shots on me before I even aimed at him, so that's pretty good. We're not going to chase him. Uh, knowing this game, he probably has a grenade or something. He'll bait me right into it, so we're just going to disengage. Continue with our rotations. Do a little short hop up here. We tied right <laughs> He's in this. So I think we've died five times. Um, like I said, for me and Rumble, the limit is ten. That keeps the the, 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 the two KD. Classy Randall. Alright, and as you guys can see, I mean it does kill, right? It does kill. It does fairly decently, right? Uh, and the main thing with these auto rifles for them to be semi-competitive and come out on gunfights is uh, that counter balance is, is pretty big in my opinion, or high stability and or high stability. And um and the current meta with the way things have worked. It's doing just fine. I'm loving it. <clears throat> We're going to come all the way back. We're going to catch this long lane. I want to get into some longer engagements with this. Which way is he coming around? Change the lead. Very solid, man. Ease of use. Again, we know this spawn's going to be here. This guy right behind me. All right, he backed off. That was a good play by him. I wasted my grenade, but we're just going to collapse him. Hopefully Randall puts a little bit of pressure on him. Are you kidding me right now? Stop it. There we go. We're going to wait for a second. Oh, no, we're not. I, I fully expect somebody to be right down here. Uh, let's get our reload back. Come in with the Havoc Pigeon. We're just going to wait. Heavy ammo on the way. He wants to stick me, man. These people. Oh, I want this so bad. Only five minutes left. Heavy ammo available. All right, so we can get some taking e going. Oh, I love this thing. It's my new favorite, my new favorite thing in Destiny. It is so good, man. I, I see this guy. Oh, I didn't know he's gonna have a LMG though. I was gonna try to get around the corner and then bait him, but you never know nowadays. Since that spawn's not there, they're probably fighting. Little havoc pigeon, man. Havoc Pigeon, FTW. So we're approaching the end here, man. Um, I do recommend getting this gun. It's it's very accurate. That's that's I mean that's all you could really ask for, really. I mean look at that. It, it just it, it shoots so straight. It has good aim assist. The sight, the, I feel the sight really helps it out. For a quote finding face, that's what I like to call it. All right, we got away with something right there, man. We need to slid right through. One more kill. And pre fire. And that's it. Show your might, Guardian. Well fought. Oh, nope. That's it. So let me know what you guys think if you pick up this weapon. I mean, I did, obviously, because I want to do a review, and I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm, I'll actually put a, a couple screens. I had a couple back to back, so I, I hit my limit, my 22 and 9. Uh, I had a couple back to back, you know, six, seven, eight, nine thousand score games with this Continental Man with 30 plus kills. 30, I think I, had, I went 30, 30 back to back. So um, you can do decently with it, man. Um, it, it's a very fun weapon, but 
if it's up to you, if you want to spend your marks on it, if that's something that you, that you want to be into at, at this stage of Destiny. And a lot of players just use hand cannons all the time, and nothing against that. They're very strong. But as you can see, you know, you throw in a little uh, of the strafe game, and uh, with, with the crouching, you can make a miss, and you come out on top. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, I am Cool Guy.